Daniel here, this is a blabber video. Now the original intent of my resurrection prayers for restoration was the restoration of mankind's goods and services which were owned over the traverse of history. That was the original intent of the prayer. That people would have their fullness of the items restored. So that's the original intent of that prayer. And that's still a valid, valid that's still valid. That's the original intent. Now, um, people are supposed to, um, according to the AM, according to what I teach, people out in other, other, other areas of faith are supposed to uh, find faith in God and apply the uh, attorney of prayer to the collection of things to try and obtain an attorney for themselves with God. Now, I maintain that God's not actually interested in anyone else having an attorney of collection apart from myself, so I maintain that. But your, your job is to connect to God yourself, other people of other faith, and uh, see if you can obtain that from God. Because what God maintains with me might not be what God maintains with you. But what God maintains with me might be what God maintains with me, and you might not have a choice. But it might depend on how hard you prepare to fight and commit and all sorts of things if you think you want to have God's attention on that stuff as well. That's up to you. And that's your faith. If you can achieve a result, well, good luck to you. Now, um, I maintain this is the same principle at stake. But the A&M library is the, uh, the end of what I own is the end of what, what's that 29 million is the end of mankind's eternal product, other things, and that there's no new copyright allowed. That's the same principle. If you can push on and establish your copyright eternally, then that's your business. But I'm not going to maintain, um, I'm not going to maintain that. I'm not going to maintain that my, my collection of things eternally as accessible to publish the potential of my faith and what I'm about. But what you guys do with your faith and your own libraries and things, if you wanted to do something similar, well that's your business. And if you can obtain that from God, that's between you and God and that's nothing to do with me. And what you can obtain from God is nothing to do with me. And if you can and obtain that, I certainly don't object. So I'm not the one deciding this. It's God that who's with me is the one who's deciding to maintain my library. I'm not the one deciding that. That's God. But if God has decisions on your behalf with you, that's between you and God and it's nothing to do with me.